Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and I'm so glad you joined us here today for a gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What is a metaphysical ministry? Metaphysics is the philosophical branch of quantum physics. Oh, what's quantum physics? It's all about the reality that's happening out of our awareness. You've heard you create your reality. Quantum physics explains by verifiable scientific experiments exactly how you're creating your reality, exactly how you affect something that you're observing, and exactly how your thoughts and your expectations are creating what's happening in your world and in your life. So that's what we're all about here. And we start every week with a happy share. A happy share, what's that? Well, if you look at most people in the world today, they're walking around with rather glum looks on their face. And if you ask them how they feel, well, they're fine or they're getting by. But you know what? We came here to be happy, to enjoy life. So when you start looking for things in your life that make you happy, guess what? You find them. You find lots of them. And the universe says, wow, she's appreciating all these happy things. Let's give her more. Let's give her more. So my happy share is uh, this suit that I'm wearing right now. I haven't put the slacks on for probably six, eight months. And they're so big on me, they actually need to be taken in now. And I wasn't even aware that I had been losing that many inches. I tend to gauge how my health, well-being, and figure is doing by how my clothes fit rather than how much I weigh. So that's a pretty good happy share because these slacks have never, ever been falling off me before. Anyhow, what's your happy share? If you go on down and you fill it in and let us know, guess what happens? Your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined, you are going to relive that happy moment that left you feeling good, that left you feeling at peace, that just made you know life really is about being happy. Now, a happy share is something that happened for you, not about your kids, not about your spouse or your parents or even your best friend, something that happened for you. So let us know what it is. I get to be the menstrual minister this week. So, I make greeting cards. In fact, I'm probably going to share some in this site here. And one of them is all about the fact that it's okay to ask questions. It's better than okay to ask questions. So, it's okay to ask questions. A lifetime of lessons got you where you are today. Now it's time to question. Question the teachings that worked in your childhood, but may not work so good right now. They just don't apply in your adult life to wit. Be careful with the scissors. Don't touch the very sharp knife. Don't ever talk to strangers. Life is full of dangers. Change is necessary for growth. Change is necessary for growth. It's time to look inside and see if all those rules apply to you today. Or do they get in the way, stopping you from living your dreams? Oh yes, quite possibly. It happens more often, so it seems, and they block your way. Hey, 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 change is necessary for growth. Learn to ask questions to reveal the rules that keep you in your limiting beliefs. Don't let those beliefs be your dream thief. Questions are powerful tools that move your life forward. Clearing your vision that until now has been blurred. Asking the right questions lets you get lasting results that fit the life that you live now as the adult. Change is necessary for growth. Ask the right questions. Change is necessary for growth. Ask 
the right questions. Change is necessary for growth. Ask the right questions now. Start now. See, you have all these rules running in your subconscious mind from when you were a little kid. And maybe they're keeping you shy. Maybe there really is a program running that says don't talk to strangers. So you find it hard to go out there and do business because that's not you. That's not who you were told you were when you were a little kid. All these rules. Yeah, they kept you safe when you were little. But you're not little anymore. So you want to go inside, find out what they are, so you can replace them with what works for you now in your adult life. And how you do that is you ask questions. But you got to know which questions to ask so you can unveil, so you can reveal those rules. You know what? I wrote a whole book called you got to ask questions. How to live a happy, healthy, and secure life because it's asking questions that allow you to see where you are now and know how to move forward. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that down there too. So on our page, if you look up there, you will see something that says holding a space for. Is there something in your life you'd like to make your reality? If you go ahead and write down what it is, not only will everybody see it in the comment section, but I will put it up there on the Hold the Space for page. Now, what does that mean? It means that everybody who reads your name and what you'd like us to hold the space for will just take a moment and go within and picture your name and what it is that you want to be doing as your reality in your life. It doesn't matter if we don't know who you are. The universe knows your name. So the more people give it energy, creating that thought form is bigger and bigger, the sooner it's going to happen and will manifest in your life in the perfect time for you. But if you don't ask, how do we know how to help you to get there faster. Scroll down, leave your name, what it is you'd like us to hold the space for. Maybe you'd like to find the ideal job, the ideal partner. Maybe you just want to know where you can go to have some fun in your life on a regular basis. I don't know what it is, but you do, don't you? There's something you know you want that you don't have right now. You know there's someone you want to be who you aren't right now. Again, fill it in down there. Come back at least once a week. Read the names on that list. Hold the space for the name living that reality. And others will do the same for you and tell your friends and your family because you know what? The more people doing it, the faster that thought form grows, the universe sees it, acknowledges it, and delivers it into your reality. I'm so glad that you joined us here today. If you haven't done so already, go in right over there, fill in your name, your email address, and I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And if you would also do this, please go down, down below and click like. Leave me a comment. Give me some feedback. Let me know what it is that you want to know more about in the spiritual world. Because you know what? Spirituality and religion, they're two different things. You can be extremely spiritual and not believe in religion at all. Or you can be extremely devout in a religion and have zero spirituality. Again, I'm so glad you're here. Enjoy a wonderful week and start to ask yourself some questions. Take a look at my book. It's available online as an e-book so you can get it right away. And I will see you next week. Blessings.